today we are going to discuss the second part of this chapter and uh, this one is the uh, neurons and their types so uh, as we have discussed yesterday uh, it was basically on the concept of coordination but today we are going to discuss the basic component of coordination and that basic component of coordination is the neuron so you can see i have written here it's the uh, neuron and their types so you can see neuron is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system structural and functional unit of the nervous system it means nervous system is made up of neurons and it functions because of neuron so when we look at the uh, neuron every neuron whatever is the type of neuron it is composed of a cell body it is composed of axon and it is composed of dendron and dendroids if it is a single part it's called dendron but if there are many so that one is known as uh, they are called dendroids so uh, and the uh, as the structure of neuron is concerned if you look at this diagram that i have already uh, drawn here in this uh, diagram you can see uh, this is the this is neuron is a uh, just like a cell it is just like a cell a single cell uh, that one and it is composed of, first of all you can see this is the uh, this is the cell body this structure is called cell body and cell body is containing the nucleus inside it so i can label this it is the it is nucleus that is present inside this and these are called these dendroids are actually the cytoplasmic extensions these all are the cytoplasmic extension and there is one a very long cytoplasmic extension is there and that long cytoplasmic extension which is very long is known as we call it axon and axon will be delivering the nerve impulses away from they are actually uh, if we draw the arrows with this so these arrows are representing the collection of the nerve impulse and then afterwards the nerve impulse will be traveling in this form and the neuron every neuron is covered by a special uh, type of structure which is known as special type of cells are there which are called neuroma cells and they are secreting a sheet like structure on the neuron as uh, you know if we uh, look at the uh, it, uh, insulating wire so wire is always having an insulation on it so all the neurons except uh, the uh, except the relay neurons sometimes they are not having the neuroma but all the other uh, neurons are having the neuroma or a protective sheet is uh, present on them so this one is the uh, this is called axon and this is the cell body so these are the dendro now comes there is another uh, word that is very important for you to understand that what is meant by the nerve impulse the nerve impulse is basically a type of the electrical signals you know from the wires uh, the electricity is passing so from the neurons there is a uh, passing the uh, nerve impulses and because of these nerve impulses the uh, because of these nerve impulses the signals will be traveling from one part to another part in the nervous system for, for example if there is something in the brain and the message has to be uh, transferred uh, through the uh, into our feet so that will be through the uh, nerve impulses so nerve impulses are uh, the basically uh, nerve impulses are the electrical uh, signals which are responsible to transmit the uh, impulses from uh, uh, responsible to transmit the messages from one part of the nervous system to the other part okay class now we will discuss the different types of neurons as we have discussed the uh, basic structure of neuron but there are three main types of neuron and these different types of neurons are one is known as sensory uh, neurons and other is sensory neurons other are called motor neurons and relay neurons so i hope you remember these terms yesterday we discussed what is meant by cns cns means brain 
and spinal cord. So sensory neurons take impulses towards CMS from receptors. So this I will explain in diagram once again. And motor neurons bring impulses from CMS to effectors. And you know that effectors are of two different uh, types. One is known as muscles and other are called glands. And relay neurons connect the sensory and motor neurons. So here is the same diagram that we have uh, made you can see. But now I have attached all three different types of uh, neurons and one by one I will label them. So this is the sense organ, it can be skin. I can even write skin uh, for this. So this is the skin and from skin the message is taken and then uh, taken in the form of nerve impulses. The message is coming here and this is the cell body. So this is cell body of sensory neuron. Why we are calling this sensory neuron? Because it is bringing the message from skin to the CNS. CNS is the central nervous system that can, it can bring the message from skin to brain or it can bring the message from skin to spinal cord. So this is the uh, this part. Now this one which is bringing the message and message is in the form of nerve impulses. I can draw this is the red mark is showing the nerve impulse. First it comes here and then it moves towards this cell. So this is bringing the message towards the cell body. That's why it is known as dendron. And it's a single one. That's why I call it dendron. And now this part is called exon. This is exon. And now it is bringing the message that these are also the parts of exon. And this is another neuron which is the relay neuron. And this relay neuron also has a cell body and it is also having uh, this part is called exon. If I keep on drawing the or the direction of the nerve impulses, nerve impulses are moving towards this side. Now the nerve impulses are moving. If we keep drawing uh, the, uh, like these impulses, so they will be coming here and then they are moving towards this side and then they are received in this particular part. This is also the neuron and the messages are coming there and then they are traveling along this part also. And then they are coming to muscles. So this is the relay neuron. You can identify all the parts of a relay neuron very clearly in this one. So this is the cell body. These are the dead word, I am not labeling them and this one is the exon. These are, now this one, this whole one is called the motor neuron. This is the motor neuron. These are the dendroids. These are the dendroids and what is there. And as the message is going away from uh, the cell body, so this is called the exon. Exon of the motor neuron. These are the dendroids. These all are the dendroids. Dendroids of the motor neuron. This part are not lengthy. And now one final thing that all these structures, this is known as, this is called the CNS. This is called CNS. I can write this one as CNS, central nervous system, it can be either spinal cord or it can be uh, the brain. So this is the uh, CNS, central nervous system, so messages are coming. One last thing that is very clear in this one, that all the neurons are not connected directly. You can see here is the gap between the neurons. So they are not connected to each other, they, they, this gap is called synapse. A gap between like these two uh, markers are not connected to each other, so there is a gap, there is a significance of this gap. So we will discuss later on about the synapse also, that why synapse is important. And the, there is another term that is used again and again in your uh, book. So these are called the nerves. Nerves are when many neurons are 
combined together, so they are making the nerves. If you like, if you have a copper wire and you open the copper wire by removing its insulation, so you will see that there are many of the uh, uh, many wires are present in there. So those uh, small wires are called uh, the small wires are called uh, you can say uh, they are known as the neurons, the copper wires, and that one cable we can call it the, that one 